I love this painting. It's called Menominee Women, so it is also Wisconsin. It was made by an artist named Samuel Brooks in 1858, so before photography was prominent. And so it's very unusual also to have images of women, um, you know, at that time that were painted. So uh, it's a wonderful record for the Menominee tribe um, to have this. And it shows exactly what they were wearing at the time, which is a, a combination of traditional uh, clothing and also using trade items like ribbons and uh, uh, trade blankets, for example. And so anyway, it's phenomenal. And it's got a, it's got a, um, a pair it's part of a pair there's a Menominee men's painting as well so but one of the hidden features is that that he recorded the men's names and the women's names are not present so um, which is actually par for the course during that time um, very kind of a Eurocentric perspective because women were not obviously as important um, I, so I, I mean uh, in their eyes. In the, in the eyes of the Europeans who exactly. did this. Exactly, exactly, yes. I mean, even though, you know, you have some tribes that are, are, are matrilineal and they are the ones, um, you know, that the women are more of the political leaders, they wouldn't talk to them. They would only talk to the men, which was very disruptive for the entire, you know, it's like, can I talk to your kids, you know, instead, and give me the whole rundown of, you know, all of this, and they're like, well, that's not my role, I, I don't know, but I'm not saying that they're um, children, they, they certainly could uh, speak to a lot of the questions, but they might not be privy to a certain knowledge of the leaders in that particular society. So, um, but anyway, it's really an exceptional painting, and I'm very excited that it's gonna be on exhibit. So, it's not a focus for our museum to have or, or we didn't really focus on fine art in, in that sense. When you go to the history department, you'll see some, but it was more happenstance because uh, we, we had been here decades before our historical society was founded. And so we were also kind of like the historical society for Milwaukee. So we have a lot of local, um, local material you, you might not find in it you know, a nationally focused or globally focused natural history museum.